welcome back dudes hello we are going to be doing another co-op let's play of event zero starring uh, some guy named nate and vincenity yay uh, applause soundboard now i have been dreading like i guess not dreading this game but it scares the living crap out of me <laughs> Not like scary like demons, but scary like, oh god, uh, machines. I, I, I feel like I'm not going to be smart enough for this game. I feel like I'm going to weep. Yeah, it, uh, if you guys have been following along with my channel, yes. Um, the Nerd Block Gamer Crate that's uh, rated M for Mature. It had this shit in it. It came with a Steam game, and what? this is that Steam game. And oh my god. I have been talking about... Uh, doing let's plays of all the games that I get in my boxes, and, and then plot twist. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> here, here is the very first one that I'm doing. Now I will be doing some some backlog ones that I have gotten over the past, but I'm just trying to stay current as is right now. If I have time, I'll go back and do those. But for right now, we are just going to be doing this one. It is Event Zero. It's so much better than the sequel. They're totally not working on Event One. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. They bet if you guys do a sequel, please do Event 1 as the sequel. Yeah, It'll so. confuse everyone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game, as you can see. Obviously, save slot 3 is superior, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with slot 1. I've Even always been a slot zero. 1 person. Just I am I was the little brother, so I was always slot 2. Or unless my brother wanted slot 1 and slot 2, then I was slot 3. It all, it all depends. So down at the bottom, you can see a tip right away. Kazen is a computer, but it has feelings. So hit on the computer. You got it. Yeah. So <laughs> I have feelings for you too, Kazen. Kind of what this game is, is if you guys are familiar with the book slash movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, um, this is kind of like that. I wouldn't say it's uh, a game based off those, those features, but you are talking to a computer and you're reasoning with it and like you have to figure bot. a way through the levels. It's like clever bot on crack. We're all obsessed with being someone, something somewhere being in a particular state of consciousness health mind being for and from being with being without you are not an exception unless your name is helena bottom carter <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm okay. sorry I, uh, I just can't i just can't get over how excited slash nervous i am i'm about also this excited game. you are not an exception it's now orange i'm scared and this is completely blind for, I believe, both of us? Yeah, uh, the only... For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best yeah, okay. had been... You have to be he, so you have to scroll yeah. down. Oh, this is answering. So. Yeah, we're we, answering. We could be they. You are very... Well, we are they. We are technically we're... they. We are both... You are very particular about it. Like everybody else, you call planet Earth your home. But you weren't like most of your peers. Oh man, you spent your childhood in a hippie commune in a war toned country or in a slum. Ooh, what do you want to do? I don't know. I like pot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess uh, either... Well, do we want war to blow up our town, or do we want, you know, pot to overrun the world? Uh, I, I'm going to go with war. War is better. War. <laughs> the war on drugs, am I right? After the war, Manila was not the best place to raise a child. Your parents had to sell their downtown condo. You moved to California. Oh my god, to California? California. <laughs> okay, so we moved to California. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you, you were someone. someone. And, and you intended to You only get one option, day. so let's keep it that option. Okay. We're slowly going towards the space are, station. Are we getting closer? I believe we are. Armstrong made a step towards the moon, and suddenly everybody wanted to be a part of something. You witnessed nation states pop out of existence. So, more states showed up after California? What is that? Just Hawaii? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, Sel Selenites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority, like that song by Green Day, who had traveled in space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in Manila. The United Earth government pays for college. We Ooh. got free college. Bernie Sanders got elected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good job, Bernie. Good on you, lad. You wanted to either make a make difference. A difference. Give, oh my god! Get back to society. See what the rest of the universe looked like. Oh my god! Uh, 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 I do want to make a difference, but if Bernie is already in office, a whole bunch of stuff's already happening. Um, 
Uh, we, so we're, we're, we're every, everything's in turmoil because of the war. I would give back to society. Give back to society. Yeah. Okay. That's just me. You decided interplanetary ecology was the best way to do it. The years went before you were right. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> years went by before the right opportunity presented itself. It was a job as the manager at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> That's technically we're giving back. You had just finished giving a lecture at the International Transport Space Lines HQ, and an old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you. Oh my god. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS ITS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, hello, so sir. Or it's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. I don't know. Do we want to be gawky teenage guy or like smart ass? Oh, it's an honor to meet you. Um, I say honor. Yeah, I would say let's, let's, honor. Let's pretend like yeah. we knew who this guy was like, before give, he came. Give, to give a shit about Kurt Taylor. Yeah, Kurt invited yes. you to his office and closed the door behind you. Uh -oh. oh, sex time. <laughs> Spankings over to the desk. <laughs> he didn't ask you to sit. He you sat down anyway. <laughs> you kept standing. Okay, I would, I would keep standing. I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of that douchebag in the walking room. Like, <laughs> be like, nice chair, bitch. Yo, I own this office. <laughs> I don't so, know. I, I, I would stand, but if you want to sit down, sit down. You're controlling it. Ooh, we're split. We're split. I I would I would definitely stand. He, he I'm sitting you. down. Oh my god, this, this is exactly there you why go. I selected you. Yeah, I win. Okay, he knows. He knows we're a douche. <laughs> I love you so lavish. Who wants no thanks and does not give back for? He always bestows and desires not to keep for himself. He asked you to be a part of his mission to Europa. Despite the Nietzsche quotes, you decided to say yes. You know what else Nietzsche did? But Punched a horse. One thing so that they, they point out in here is that uh, does not give back for you always. Bes like, yeah. But we, we're giving back to society. Yes, That's the one we, we That's chose. That's what we so. want to do, Mr. Taylor, you Submit. fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see my suit that I'm totally wearing in this click em up adventure? Oh, my God. There have already been ten Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa, Europa 11. 11. This time, they wanted to send a man lander down to the surface. Oh my god. You just wanted to be one of the Selenites? Be a part of something. I don't know. So Would you join this community? Do you want to be the rich guy just living off your riches and sitting on your ass? Or do you want to be a part of something? I would be a part of something. I would be a part of I, something, I too. I don't want to, you know, join these asshole rich pricks yeah, that, that's, doing nothing. That's how you make memories. You... As the Jim Carrey movie said it, be a yes man. Like, you just say yes. <laughs> Just go oh, for what it. What a great movie that no one remembers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came, came a long, long way from Manila. The villa Vanilla from Manila. <laughs> My favorite artist is Millie Vanilli. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh, they're just counting down. Oh man, it wasn't a fear of going to space. You've been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. You didn't return that movie to Blockbuster <laughs> in 1997. Oh my god, uh oh, 2012. It was September 6, 2012, and humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As the building relationships 390 million miles away from Earth. Well. <laughs> That's your whole option. Shit happens. <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't going to be straightforward. Oh, dim a darn. And it is slowly approaching us. Yeah. I am... I, I'm going to apologize right now. This starting video might be a long... Long part. Uh, long yeah. part just because uh, it might take I, a while to and get and to I, and the I ship. my timer, so whoops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were alone in the ecology lab when a ship first entered Europe over... The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. All of Europa 11. Or the AI of Europa. Yeah, you know, the AI. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I can't read sometimes. Yeah. You'll either. have to forgive me. It's going to happen a lot. Whatever. Uh, had invoked the code red security protocol and all personnel had to go to the bridge. And drink some delicious Mountain Dew. This code meant red. you as well. You had to get some Mountain Dew code red in your belly. Ooh. Means, uh, I could use a Mountain Dew code <laughs> red. No. You reached the end of the hallway, but the door closed right in front of you. You asked the AI to let you go to the bridge. The system bay door is just a few feet away. Oh my god. Um, uh, I'd kindly ask the AI. I'd be like, hello? Yeah, the ship told you that the path of the bridge wasn't safe and then you had to evacuate immediately. This is not the protocol. What's going on? I would say... I'd what's going on? Yeah, I'd, I'd want to know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, you want to say that? Sure. A synthetic voice said trying to get to the bridge has been too risky. It wanted you to evacuate. 
We're gonna do an escape pod. Escape. Everyone else uh, turned out to be faster than you. The only capsule remained docked. Only one capsule. I oh say. my god. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. Oh my god, did we die already? No, okay. no, it's, it's saying we got the only pod. Oh, okay, good, good, good. The only pod left. You can see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. Taxi! <laughs> Come here. I want to go to the pizza factory. Is the colonel in? I want to see Mr. Hall. But no one answered. Dun, dun, dun. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled, and they were all empty. Uh-oh. You tried to reach the command center? You attempted to communicate with Europa 11. Uh, crap. Ooh, this... I would communicate with Europa 11. I'd be like, hello, help, all the, all the escapees left. Uh, Europa 11 was steering your capsule, but you could not get the AI to answer your hail. Something was jamming the signal. Your oh my god. pod was leaving the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel and all of all escape pods... This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get to their EVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had to let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting our capsule. Uh oh, the, oh my god! I'm scared already. Uh, the Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. Uh oh. I mean, someone died. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so you sat there not knowing, or you sent out. I would. Yeah. Distress signal. I'd be like, help me! No oh, one answered. No. Did you we just, lose already? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. If no one found you, you would need the battery anyway. This is telling me nothing, game. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone, whistling for your fa your, your favorite Filipino songs into the <laughs> microphone. Do you oh, know any? No, can, I don't. Can you whistle some for me? Uh, no, I can't. Sadly. I don't know any. I, I know some other One good day, songs. you heard back. By a Filipino man. <laughs> There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. It's the end of the world oh, as we know, know it. it. Okay. There you go. Oh man, she's singing. Oh, I can hear it. It's really quiet, but I can hear it. Okay, it's also good. It's also a good song, but it's not R.E.M. No. Um, there was a spaceship, one of those experimental tourist mono Mon monstrosities. monstrosities from the 80s. That, <laughs> what was it doing here? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was docking it a good idea? Well, you're going to die alone yeah. if you don't. Yeah, just little bump out to this song. Kick it. Aw, oh, fade to white. Oh, shit. We docked. Finally docked. Or we're docking. Oh, my God. Hello. Uh, an N64 ship. I'd like to see Captain Dreamcast, please. It's drop Captain Dreamcast in. First name Sega, last name Saturn. I wonder what happened to all the other pods. Like I don't know. N of where... Zero. There's your thumbnail. Try to understand what Kaizen wants. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I, have, I have a feeling Kaizen is gonna be unreasonable. Gonna be a dick. I'm. I'm. I'm scared. Uh, actually, while we're here in a loading screen, I'm going to go ahead and do a jump cut. We are going to stop episode one here and move on with episode two. Part two. Part so two, part I two. will see you in the next video. Bye.